Everything's good. Got another video. It's gonna be a good one. Hey, what's going on everybody? Carlos here with another clip review from Premiere Cuts. And uh, it's not much of an unboxing. I've been using these for several weeks now. And the reason why, because as you see, this is how I got them. I got them just like this. Very, very disappointed in the seller and how he delivered this package. I got the cable. I have the guards, which I've been using some of them. Um, that's why they're not here. It was bubble wrapped in this, brought to you in this here packaging. Didn't even get the box. I got the cover to the box with this damn manual. So very disappointed on how this was shipped to me, but uh, that has to do more with what I feel about the seller. So I probably won't be leaving a link to his actual um, store. I'll be leaving a link to someone else's store that I think would probably suit better. But uh, yeah, this is pretty much how it came in. I didn't do an unboxing for this video, again, because the, you saw the way it came in in the packaging. Now, what I have been doing, I have been using these, and we are actually talking about the Kami 1996. There's a 97 version. I got the 96 because the difference between the two, from what I understand, is I have an LCD screen on this guy right here. As you see, I have a percentage sign that shows how much battery is left. And I believe the 97s, um, they only have an indicator light. You go from red to green. I think having this LED sign might be a little bit more worth it. I have to check to see if the battery life is the same. I'm not exactly sure. Um, I'm not exactly sure if the battery life is exactly the same, but uh, I don't see it being that much different. If we look at the box, we will see that the battery life on this one is 200 milli 2000 milliamp, which is a hour and a half charge time, approximate, approximate time of 210 of use continuous. And that leads me to one of my gripes is that now that I've tried the 1986 camis, that, that has spoiled me, okay? That has spoiled me with battery life because the battery life on these will give you about three to five haircuts. And one of the things that I did not like about that is that once it gets below 10%, unlike the 86 where it dies at, it feels like 100% which means like when that battery finally dies and the clipper shuts off on you, the power from 100% to 0% stays the same. Where this one, once it gets below 10%, you start hearing the motor kind of dwindle down. It's like, boom, boom, boom. You know, it's not giving you that constant full power and then shuts off. The 86 do, the 96 don't. So battery life is not as good as the 86 but uh, the 86 are a different kind of a machine. That, that is 2,500 milliamps. Um, so it, it feels like you can easily get um, three quarters of the day, if not a whole day, depending on how much uh, cutting you're doing and how fast you are. But that's not to knock on these. It's still a very good machine. Cuts extremely well. Build quality is much better than the 86. Not to say that the 86 don't have good build quality because they're both metal this just feels a little bit heavier a little bit more heftier that could be a drawback for some people for me it's not a drawback i still like the weight this has the what you can see is the clicks which is a good and bad in my opinion i don't like the way these clicks because you got one two three four if there was a fifth click in there i think it would have been perfect but because there's only four clicks, you're not really allowed to kind of get in between. You know, when you're fading and you're going from, you know, open to close, sometimes there's that little gap between, you know, the first two clicks that really are important when you're doing some, you know, you know, doing a skin fade. Um, other than that, the throw is fantastic. I love the fact that it extends 
just like the uh, 1986, they extends quite well. A downside to this clip, unlike the 86 is they are not ready to cut right out of the box. With the 86, the blade that came on there, it was fantastic. You can cut straight out. You don't have to spend no more money. Unfortunately, the blade that comes on these was not good at all. I had to instantly, after the first haircut, I had to change the blade. I had to put a different walls. These came out of my Sterling, wall Sterlings. Um, and once I did that, these things felt like a brand new machine. It could just as good as my 86s. And that's my only drawback when it comes to how these cut. These are very comparable because um, with a lot of these knockoff companies, now if you, you notice that these look exactly like the Walls 1919s, and I've held them up with the Walls 1919s, and you can see in this clip where these look exactly the same, but the Walls 1919 are a sub $200 machine, while these guys, this is a $28 to $30 machine with the same build quality, okay? The same cutting potential once you change the blade and the battery life is pretty much on par with the 1919s so you tell me what would you prefer you can have three to four of these for the price of one wall 1919s that's what i mean about these clipper companies they have come a long way they have really made strides in how well they um the, the, the company now obviously I can't give full credit to Cami. I'm a huge fan of Cami um, when it comes to you know their branding and and that what they're putting their name on but this is just a they, they make this clipper in a lot of different names Cami is just the one I prefer to get I like their logo it looks good compared to my suckers which are over there that that name just doesn't even make sense for a clipper company <laughs> but it's a good clipper, which review on that guy, these guys right here, will be coming up shortly. Um, I just wanted to get this video out uh, first. So make sure you subscribe for that and follow me on Instagram where I do a lot of behind the scenes stuff. Now anyways, get back to this clipper review. Again, these things cut fantastic once you change the blade. Motor, motor is very powerful. You can hear it's, it's not too loud, but it's definitely noticeable when you're cutting. The ridges might be um, something that you might like, but the handle feels very well. It's, it comes, it came very tight. I like actually my handle to be a little bit tight when I'm first starting out because the more I use it, the more I open and close, it's gonna loosen it up a little bit. I've had no problem. It's very easy to zero gap these and I can't say anything negative about that. Again, this is a really nice clipper, especially for the price. And I was talking to some of the guys in the barbershop, we all agree, if a sub $30 clipper can afford to put an LCD screen on this, there's no reason why these other companies are not providing the same thing for a, a much more expensive. Anything above $50 should have a screen. It's just, it makes more sense, especially when you're talking about a wireless clipper. When you're using a wireless clipper, you should know exactly where you are in the battery life. If you don't, you're gonna have a lot of trouble with that. So for me, I think that I'm always attracted to the clippers that have an indicator of some sort. Not just an LED power light, but an indicator telling me exactly where my percentage is. So one of the reasons why I chose this over the 97s. The 97s look just the same, just only an indicator light, not an LCD screen. And as far as haircutting, I've been doing a lot of haircutting with this, different textures, different lengths. I like to do skin fades, um, and that really lets you know how well these cut. And I said, once I put a new blade in here, it was, you know, I was off in sailing. Um, a lot of the guys, and I have a couple of the guys ended up wanting to pick this up, and they did order him. Um, and I would order these again, just not from that seller that I got it from. Terrible packaging. Couldn't even do an unboxing for you guys. It's one of the reasons why I actually spent $5 more to get the box. And look what I got. I got this crap. This sh I should have been able to do an unboxing for you guys and, and have that experience so you know exactly how it comes in. 
I have seen them in the box. I have seen them unboxed before. I just didn't get that experience. So I'm kind of bummed out that I didn't get to uh, share that with you guys. But don't worry. We got plenty more clippers to review. Guys, if you haven't already, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. That's most important. Share this video with somebody who you think needs to hear about this machine. Again, my opinion of it, it is an, a fantastic clipper once you change that blade. It's not many clippers that come th with this kind of build quality. So once you change that blade, this clipper is pe perfect. And for the price, you're gonna spend, let's just say for a good blade, between 15 and 20 more dollars. So you're talking about spending under $50 and getting a unit like this with this build quality and this potential in the right hands, it's gonna make you some money in the long run. So guys, this is my clipper review for the Kami KM1996s. If uh, you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe and share this. Also follow me on Instagram. If you do, I will be shouting some of you guys out in my next videos, so stay tuned for that. And like I said, I got these guys. So be on the lookout for this video, possibly next week. I've been using them just as much as I've been using these. And you'll be surprised. Guys, thanks for tuning in again. Peace.